So in this specific section, we will be learning about styling React components. Now, React components could be styled in multiple ways, and the different ways of styling a React component are the very first way is inline styling, other way is CSS style sheets, and the next way is by using CSS modules. So in this lecture, let's look at the very first way of styling elements, and that is by using inline styling. So in order to learn about inline styling, let's create a new component in here and let's name this component as, let's say, inline component.js. So this is going to be a functional component and in there, we are actually going to have some sort of a heading and we are going to learn how to style that. So first of all, I'll go ahead and say export default function let's call this thing as inline component and actually it's better if you just uh, rename this thing with the first letter being in capitals so that would be better so i would export default function inline component and then over here i'll make this thing return a div and within this div i'll add an h1 let's say this is and inline component or rather a component which is going to be styled by inline styling okay so once we have this component let's render this up on the home page which is this page and see how it looks like so i'll go inside app.js just import the component here so import inline component and then simply make use of the inline component here so inline component so there's an error here because this should be in line and if we do that as you can see this is what the inline component would look like now the next thing which we need to do is that let's say you want to add some styling to this component you want to add some sort of a color to this particular component so by making use of inline styling what you could simply do is that you could assign some styling right inside the component itself so if we go to the inline component right here so now in order to set some inline styling to this specific component what you could do is that you could go at the top of the component and create some sort of a styling so in regular css what you would do is that you would have some curly brackets here and you would define certain css properties so for example you could set a simple color property so you could say color as something like let's say blue give a comma add another property so on and so forth so in case of styling the components in line we simply go ahead and save this thing into some sort of a variable so we say something like const header you could name this particular variable as anything but as this is going to be the styling for our header i have named this thing as header so now as you can see we have created a specific style for the component so now the question is how exactly would you apply the styling to this h1 tag so in order to apply the styling you simply have to say style equals and then in curly brackets simply add the variable name which is header so if we do that if we go back here as you can see the header is now having a color of blue you could also set other properties for the header as well so for example you could go ahead and you could say the font size is going to be uh, something like 40 pixels so you would say font size 40 px so we'll notice that the syntax which we are using here is actually the property of font size so as you can see the font size has changed and if i do 140 pixels it will change to this so there's one thing which you need to remember the syntax which we are using here is not the regular css which we are using instead we have specified font size with s in capital so essentially what we are doing here is that we are passing in attributes to this specific component and the styling is then being passed to that component right here using inline styling another thing which you need to remember is that as now we are styling react components and as react components do not have html but instead as this is a jsx so as this is a jsx you cannot apply styling in terms of strings instead the stylings which you create must be applied in form of an object and therefore we have created this particular styling object right here and this object now has these properties which is the color and the font size and let's say now if you have to 
add another property like the text align property you cannot go ahead and add it as css instead you need to say text align in this manner right here and the reason for that is because as this is an object you are essentially passing the css styling in terms of object properties and the object properties are defined in this way so that's one thing which you need to remember whenever you're using inline styling in CSS. So now there's one drawback with this approach and that drawback is that you would have to remember the name of the properties here, the syntax of the properties, and also you would have to create an object every time you create a component. Now, another way of adding styling to a React component is by using simple CSS style sheets. So we'll be learning how to do that in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.